Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Um, I just wanted to pop on really quick uh, to make some corrections and just for us to talk about some things that have happened. Um, shout out to Shonda V. Thank you so much for your super, your super thanks. Thank you, Mary. Um, I think it said, here I am. And the other one, it was very hard for me to pronounce, so I'm so sorry. But nonetheless, thank you guys for your cash apps. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to this channel, <gasps> why not? Because you know it's absolutely free. So what's up, y'all? Um, I wanted to make a correction because in my last video, I had said that um, Carmen took on Tay's last name. That is absolutely incorrect. Um, Riley is Carmen's maiden name. So thank you for those that corrected me in my um, comments. I read them and I, I think I responded to the two of you. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thanks. And like I said, I'm not above being corrected. So if I'm wrong, I'll come back on and, and I'm not going to say I'm wrong. So here we are. Um, but what we will talk about, what we'll go on to talk about is um, Muffin. All right. So this is going to be really quick on her. But I received a video, a couple videos earlier. And I, was, I watched it for myself as well. Um, who, who sits there and talks about vaginal spray? that's supposed to enhance intimate moments in front of their five-year-old or six-year-old i'm sorry who does that she was going through a box that she had received i guess she paid twenty dollars she ordered it through um bestie gang sorry y'all i've been up since five o'clock this morning <laughs> she ordered it through the bestie gang which i love bestie gangs i, I watch bestie gang i'll watch her all the time um and I've also ordered some things from her, so she has great products. But anyway, um, she had a soap and some sprays. She also sells makeup. Um, I wasn't really familiar with that part. I mean, I've heard of her talking about it, but, you know, I don't know. I just felt like it was very, very weird that she was having the conversation she was having in front of her baby. And even the baby was like, Ma, like, what? And she was just going on and on, laughing and giggling. I think she's watched Trees for so long that now she's like taking on that shock and awe, you know. But the difference, the difference between she and Trees is that with Trees, it just comes naturally. Like Trees is just naturally wired to be one of those people who just don't care, and she says whatever she wants to say, and she doesn't. If it's reckless or not, it's her muffin is almost like forced it's like she tries to do shock and awe things to get people to respond or to talk about her so i almost didn't even want to bring this up today because i was like this is exactly what you know she was going for but it was so egregious it was so reckless to me that it deserved a conversation so here we are i just not only is it inappropriate to be saying in, in front of your six-year-old, but she has teenagers, teenage sons. And I don't know, you know, they could be uh, a part of the gay community because that's just genuinely who they believe that they are. Or it could be the way that she's raised them. And we're just going to leave that there. And today was just, you know, proof of what kind of a mother she is. Now, if y'all have not been watching Kicking It With Coco, please do. <laughs> please do. I've shared some of her videos over there on my Facebook um, page. I think, yeah, Facebook page. Uh, I haven't really been over on Facebook. Well, I mean, I go over there, but I don't do too much on my page. Um, but I will be sharing some more. The girl is hilarious. So, well, woman. Some people are so upset and they're calling her immature and they're saying she's wrong. But I'm just trying to find out where is that energy when Muffin and them are doing the same thing to her. See, it's those some supporters for me. It's like, do they all share the same brain? Hmm. Do they just pass it? Here, Becky, it's yours today. Here, Leela, it's yours today. I just wish that when Coco is doing her skits, she would... Um, 
to me, she's not giving, you know, her best performance. Um, Coco, if you happen to stumble across this video, in order for you to ultimately achieve muffinness, you have to sound as if you're a runaway slave. You're giving a little bit of country vibe. And that's, I love the country. I love that. I love the, I love the accents. Oh, I love it. Um, my husband is a country man. Muffin's not country. She sounds like a runaway slave. <laughs> that's not funny, but it's so funny. So yeah, if you guys get a chance, uh, head on over to Kicking It With Coco, or I believe it's Kicking It With Coco Reacts, I think is her uh, page that she does the reactions off of Muffin on. Um, okay, so moving on past that, um, I just, I've been peeping in on Carmen and Tay, and y'all, I cannot stand the way that Tay treats Carmen, like, I don't know, you know, Tay is a lot younger than Carmen, so I wonder, and I'm not even trying to be funny, y'all, I promise you I'm not, but I wonder, is that, like, a form of elder abuse? Although Carmen's no angel, okay, we all know that, we all know that. But because of her past traumas and then like her car accident, and I know a lot of people say, oh, that was years ago. But trust me, in the field that I was in before I, be, before I went to the field I'm in now, um, you know, I had to do a little bit of research on the brain and the cognitive functions and all of that great stuff. And just because it happened years ago doesn't mean it doesn't affect her. If you pay attention to the way that she speaks, um to the way that she remembers things you know some of the things that she says it just makes me question i mean of course i haven't done no assessment and i don't watch her enough to know either or but i'm just saying i wonder is you know tay taking advantage of more than just money is she taking advantage of the fact that you know carmen doesn't know any better or won't do any better but not because of who she is but because of how she's wired does that make sense i'm trying to really skate around that y'all <laughs> you got y'all get me okay so moving on really quick to maybe um this woman has just absolutely lost her mind um and i'm not 100 percent sure but she said that she had all of her tattoos covered up of ivan's name um on her hand i believe she had his name on her hand and she covered it up with like spades and clubs and diamonds like who does she's 40 to doing this y'all let me just remind y'all this 42 she had some other um names covered up i covered that in the last video but the thing that i wanted to address this time was this lady and i use that loosely she went and got whitney's name tattooed on the side of her face like what and when people were asking her about it in her life she was like yeah that's how you know it's real so you got to tattoo someone's name on you to know it's real? But you had Ivan's name tattooed all over you, and you say that wasn't real. You said that was a facade. I'm so confused, y'all. This woman is 42 years old. And what's really confusing to me and kind of scary is that I'm watching people that are my age and older and they're acting just as childish and as immature as my, I can't even say my 20 year old. My 20 year old is way more mature than a lot of these people that I'm seeing on social media. Like way more. My 19 year old is way more. Heck, my 11 year old, <laughs> I'm thinking of my 11 year old is a little more mature than some of these people on social media. Like some of the things that they say. When I'm listening to some of the stuff on social media, my kids come in, they're like, mom, ew, why is she talking like that? Why is, why are they acting like that? Why? <laughs> they're just so dumbfounded by it all. And I'm like, it's for content or, you know, mindless entertainment, you know, whatever. But my whole thing is this. At 42 years old, you're getting her name tattooed on your face. I mean, now she's like, oh, we've been together for four months. So, you know, I think it's it's plenty of time for her to move in. And four months, but you kick your husband out after 12 years. And I think what's really sad, though, is it's like she used up Ivan. Because now, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I think her son is either graduating this year or he just recently graduated. I'm not 100% sure because he kind of stays out the camera. 
But either way it goes, it's like she used him just long enough for them to have like, you know, two parent home or whatever. And then as soon as the kids were old enough or grown enough in her mind, she kicked Ivan out. Isn't that crazy? So it'll be interesting to see how this Bobby and Whitney snowstorm of a relationship. Because <laughs> you cannot tell me that Whitney ain't giving it. I mean, we'll see. We will see. Chosen looks like she's doing a little bit better. She's back in California, I believe. I believe that's where she was. Um, she looks like she's doing well, and I hope she stays on that path. I'm definitely going to be praying for her. All right, y'all, if you guys have anything else that you guys want me to take a look at, please send me a message on Facebook. Other than that, please comment below. Remember, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the month, and I will be picking from the videos. Have a great one. Bye.